for chunks every few plays because you missed a five yard out. And I mean, you look at even guys like Mahomes, like Mahomes thrived at the end of the year because he started taking what the defense gave him the rest of the way, gave his receivers time to catch up. And then when he needed to make a play in like crunch time, he did that. And he was, he's the best in like last few minutes of the game, situational football, but he didn't try to do too much. And in the middle of the year, he felt like he needed to compensate by watching his film. And that's when he started throwing interceptions. Like they lost to the Raiders. Like they had some like weird games in the middle. And then he got right back to doing what he does best. And I think a guy like Drake may could benefit from a Mahomes situation where mm -hmm. you watch an Alex Smith for a year and you see how they do it. How do they operate? Like, guys that don't have maybe the most talent in the world, but they're really good on first down, second down, they move the chains on third down and they're efficient. Like Drake May needs to add that into his game. And once he does, then sky's the limit. Um, but it's really hard to add that to your game when you're asked to be the savior from day one. And so that's kind of where my whole analysis with him came from. And then you had this uh, blank stare emoji, I guess is how I can uh, describe <laughs> it. When he, they, the whole squad was obviously at the pro day. Uh, yeah. So him to the Giants, not fun, not fun for you? Yeah, I just, I feel like he's going to be stuck in a Daniel Jones situation. Like, you look at Daniel Jones, like, did he have the best year last year? No. Like, has he shown promise? Yes. He's made plays. But, like, who was he throwing to all year long? And yeah. the whole offense ran through Saquon Barkley, and, like, he's gone. And I just, I'm can, like, if you're Drake City May. Year? Can he sit a year, though, if they have Daniel Jones? Can he sit a year? Yeah. He probably could. But I also think their roster, like, they need a lot mm. of work. And so I'm like, if I'm him, if I'm Drake May, and I'm like, dude, could I go to the Vikings like a little later and sit a year behind Darnold? I'd rather do that than go to the Giants and sit a year with the way that their offense is, their situation. Like, is it kind of hot seat, kind of not? Like, I think Kevin O'Connell is probably a better match for getting a guy up to speed. Um, that's why I actually loved Drake May to the Rams like way later. Um, because I think being able to sit behind a guy like Stafford be with a guy like McVay, get into a scheme that's right. a little catered to him. But I don't I don't think he's going to drop that far because he does have so much upside. Um, but I would hate to see his career like not take off because of a situation that he wasn't prepared for. It's a good point. And if they take him, they can't take that wide receiver that they so desperately need and they sort of punt yeah. on it. And I don't know if I have faith that the Giants – uh, can do what McVay just does perennially and find guys late, late, late to to get it done. So they, it's not the best yeah. situation for anybody. Like if you're a quarterback in that room, you're like, God damn it, do not call my name, Giants. Right you're now. also playing the Cowboys, the Eagles, and now the Commanders. Yeah. Six times a year. Like it's okay. Just... We're worried about the Commanders. Okay, Kurt. <laughs>